Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my top 10 GIMP shortcut keys. I hope you find it helpful. The first one I use a lot is Shift B. Shift B will give us the bucket fill tool, which I will use here to give us a completely black background. The next one I often use is X. We focus on this region of the screen over here. The X key lets us shift between foreground and background colors. So I'm using it here to set my background to black and my foreground to white. The third shortcut key I often use is Shift T. So on my active photo layer, I use Shift T to scale the image. And I can do that just by dragging the corner handles of the image. The next shortcut key I often use is M, which will allow us to move the active layer. The next shortcut key I can use is P, which lets us use our paint tool. The next shortcut key is any amateur's favorite, Control Z, which lets us undo our mistakes. Another useful shortcut key we can use is Shift Q, which turns on the quick mask for creating very finely grained selection areas like this. And of course we use Shift Q to turn that quick mask off again. The next shortcut key we can use is useful for when we wish to invert the selection that we've just selected. And we can press Ctrl and I to do that. The next shortcut key is Ctrl F, which lets us repeat a filter that we just used. And the final shortcut key in this top 10 is Ctrl, Shift and E, which lets us export our image to a suitable file format like a PNG. Now this looks awful and a little bit creepy, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning of my first image. There is actually one more shortcut key that I thought I would teach you, and this one's a little bit more complicated. What you'll need to do first is go into Edit and Preferences. In the Preferences menu, select Interface, and from the Interface menu, go to this area here for Keyboard Shortcuts and click the checkbox for Use Dynamic Keyboard Shortcuts, Then we press OK. Now what this will allow us to do is set any custom shortcut key very easily from within the menus without having to fiddle around in the preferences. So for example, if I want to create a shortcut key that allows me to use the blur filter very quickly, I can simply go to filters, go to blur, hover over it, and then I hold down the key combination that I wish to be the next shortcut key. So in this example, I'll use shift, control, alt, and B for blur. And you can see that creates the shortcut key for me. Shift, Control, Alt, and Blur. Now, anytime I'm on my image, I can just press Control, Shift, Alt, and B, and it will automatically blur for me. Now, did I miss your favorite shortcut key? Let me know in the comments below, and I might make a follow-up video including it. Now, if you'd like a little bit more detail on how to use the selection tools, you can click on the orange region in this video to be taken to one of two videos explaining how to use the selection tools. If you'd like a little bit more of a lesson on how to use the paint tools, again, you can click on the light blue area in this video and it will take you to the appropriate video. Finally, if you're feeling brave and you'd like to have a go at programming your own GIMP plugins, then you can click on the yellow region below and you'll be able to see a series of eight videos that will take you through the process of creating your own GIMP plugins from scratch. And I promise you absolutely no Python programming knowledge is required for you to be able to have success with this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.